I noticed that you and Hope were still here when I came back when Dino was missing. Did you scare him off? Um, I started making some jokes that he definitely did not find funny. Oh. Ow! Was it the zombie mother joke? You made the zombie mother joke to the ghoul again, didn't you? Uh, you yes, know, I did. It's super offensive. I told you not to tell that joke, especially around or to ghouls. Well, I, you know, I can't really help it. Sometimes I just have to tell that joke. Dino, I didn't mean it about the zombie mother joke. Come back! He's like all the way over there. Why is he just running away? Because you offended him so harshly. I didn't mean it. It was all fun and games. Oh, man, Dino is really athletic. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to him. I think we will. Oh, whoa. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. Get paid. <laughs> hey, now. You're an all-star. <laughs> Feels like it's been forever since I entered someone's life. Let's get back to work. Yeah, we got some stuff to do. Let's open Dino some of the custom weapons and see if they use those. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't Fallout 4, so if you give me a bunch of random junk, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> that was a Fallout 4 reference, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, can you do me a favor and keep an eye on your pit boy? Just in case the radiation spikes. Yes, we'll keep an eye on that, Hope. Yeah, sure, Hope. Wait. Okay, I could have sworn I heard the NCR breaking in downstairs. What was that you wanted? Mike was gracious enough to get your wallet back. I hope you appreciate it. Ooh, thank you! You've just won Disaster Employee of the Month! Sorry, Sexy Pete. This guy takes the cake. <laughs> well done. For that, I'll give you my newest creation, the Power Sweater. Like a normal sweater, but imbued with the attributes of Power Armor. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. That's crazy! You're crazy! You've gone too far this time! How is that possible, you might ask? Well, with a combination of carbon fibers and nanotech, it is. And a few life fibers, of course. Uh -huh. Now, if you don't know what life fibers are, it's going to take about 24 episodes to explain, and at the very end, you'll still be very confused. So instead of an explanation, let me just skip to the part where I give it to you. Here, take it and raise hell in the wasteland. He's talking about Kill a Kill. Is there nanotech in that show? No, but they have life fibers in that show. That's what he was referring to. Oh, okay. Bye, Doc! It's a power sweater. It looks like a regular sweater to me. Yeah, it does. I wonder what its stats are. Uh, damage threshold of 25. Strength plus 1. Radiation resistance plus 25. <laughs> so it's a really heavily armored piece of equipment, but it's a sweater. Yes. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Won't you be... My neighbor. <laughs> you, can be, you can be positive and friendly just like Mr. Rogers, and you'd have the damage threshold to back it up. Oh, man. Suddenly, I feel energized. I feel like I'm ready to go out and just be a positive, a force for good in this world. A positive Zack? Is the world ready for such a creature? Well, it better be, because here I come. And if it's not, that's fine, too. I will wait until the world is ready. Some folks will tell you I was wrong. Others will tell you I'm willing to admit I was wrong. The way I see it, one's being humble. The other's just a pat on the back. A lot of people think like that. This positive Zack, I'm not opposed to it. It's just a little off-putting, because I'm not used to you not yelling angrily. That's your opinion? It's a valid one, too. And you are entitled to it. Would you like to continue what we were doing before we got distracted by oh, the Oh, yes. Bullet? Let's go um, try to convince the Cheese family to um, stop selling... Drugs that are so hazardous to people in our area that we live in. We can try and be diplomatic. I don't think they're going to be receptive. They might only understand violence. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. And if it does, we'll contact the local authorities and make sure that the problem is well sorted out. I guess the Cheese Mafia's local leader might be around here somewhere. I mean, this is a lovely little house, though. Uh, how could anyone afford it? The Cheese Mafia must own this house. Exactly. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, they got super mutants. That's odd. While I don't condone violence, I do feel that that was almost necessary in that instance. Uh, shall I read the note that he had? Swiss, you not good. Not good at all. You put me with big smelly super mutants. Mean smelly super mutants. No like super mutants. No matter how strong they are. No need strong super mutant bodyguards to protect Beach House. Need people. If spend too much time with mutants, I'm going to kill them myself. Come back and get rid of them soon. Limburger. Hmm. 
I guess Swiss isn't here, and Swiss is the person we're looking for. Mm-hmm. We'll settle for Limburger. We'll take out his second in command, but we really need to go find Swiss. We do. This must be Swiss's hideout. Good morning, sir. How does it today find you? I'm sorry, madam. Sir? Never gets old when something blows up. Sir. <laughs> Normally the powder gangers shoot you on sight, but I guess they don't recognize you with your positive attitude. Probably not. Excuse me, we're here to find Swiss. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't- You know what I call bad guys? You like that? Walking targets. She Shever. Shever. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Let's see if for Terminal's got any information on it. Let us know where Swiss is. Uh, it's not on, Mike. I know. I've just analyzed this computer. It's broke. Ah, where is Swiss when you need him? Hey, Swiss, where have you been lately? I'm writing this because... I was supposed to meet you at this farmhouse so that we could start selling to the powder gangers, but you never showed up. We had to handle the cells ourselves, and now, even though we've set up shop, they won't leave. The gangers are just standing outside, staring in at the window through us. It's kind of creepy. They've been here for the past six hours. Where are you? Send a courier pigeon or something with a reply. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, where is Swiss indeed? She's not anywhere around here. No, this is where we found Dino Jackson. Uh, Swiss is right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Dino Jackson is the one who killed Swiss. We didn't check these corpses before we left after recruiting him. Swiss was here the entire time. There is a note on Swiss's corpse. Hey, S this is not it. <laughs> because apparently there was a note here, but I don't know where it is. Ah, it's written in Braille and I can't read Braille. Let's bring this to DJ. He'll translate for us. DJ, I want to clean up these corpses while we're gone. You know, don't let Babel rot. It's gross. Oh, no, 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 no. It, this is DJ's house and he's welcome to do whatever he pleases with it. But it is important to know the virtues of having a clean hallway. So for right... Hi, my name is Little Bits, and I want to be your friend. Ah, hi. I'm a kinder, gentler Zack, but no. <laughs> so, who are you? Something seems a bit weird. Well, what are you talking about? I told you, I'm Little Bits, the Wasteland's cutest little girl. Will you please shower me with love? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. You're not actually a little girl, are you? You know what? You're right. I'm not. I'm actually 36, and uh, I'm a weapons dealer. But the cute girl act is good for attracting business. That's a good cover, yes. So yeah, if you need me to sneak a weapon into one of the casinos, I'm your girl. But it'll cost you. I'm not too stingy, though. We might want to report to DJ about what we found before we start making plans to sneak in weapons. Yes. Bye. Ow! Ow! Hey, it's the courier. Bring me any good mail? Mm, just kidding. What can I do for you? Ah uh, ha ha. While that was a very interesting pun, uh, I thought that you would like to know that the Big Cheese is throwing a dinner party at the Ultralex, and I found an invitation. Well, that was easy. The Ultralex, you say? You can't bring weapons in there, you know. <laughs> right. Not a problem. I know a guy. In fact, she's here right now. Go talk to the little bits in the living room about sneaking in some weapons you can use. She's got those kinds of contacts. If you can get in and kill the Big Cheese, along with all the other majors at the party, that should end all of our problems right there. No more hype trade. <laughs> Come back here as soon as you do. I guess I'll be the one to pay you for saving the Mojave, since I doubt anybody else will. Who is this little girl? How do you know it? How do you know it? I met Little Bits while in California. She's unusual. But useful if you're interested in doing something a little... off the record. Yeah, she seems discreet, all right. Assassinations, mercenary work, five-year-old birthday parties, whatever you need that may be a bit messy in terms of legality. Little Bits is your girl. What kind of five-year-old birthday parties have you been attending? So that's why I called her here. I figured we'd need her help when taking on a crime family. Though she'll only take us so far. Should we actually use her for anything, or should I just give you all my weapons like we normally do? <laughs> Let's see what she could smuggle in for us, because I'm interested to learn. I don't think I've seen you here before, little bits. Why are you here? DJ called me here. Apparently, there's some mean people trying to take over the Mojave. So little bits is here to help you in any way that she can. 
We need you to sneak some weapons in to the Ultralux for the monster dinner party. Yes, that would be so kind of you. True take fam. There's three weapons I can get you. An automatic rifle, a hunting shotgun, and maybe even a Gatling laser. But I'll cost you. I'd like the Gatling laser for a thousand caps. Good choice, my own word. That could be awesome if it didn't use one of the rarest kinds of ammo in the game. <laughs> but I can stock you up well. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye! Ah! Oh, it's really hard to be a kinder, gentler Zack when that happens. <laughs> Exterminate. Whoa, 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 hey! Looks like someone didn't code Dino Jackson to be part of the Don't Taste Me Bro faction. Come on, American Weirdo, come on! You're getting cut for production. <laughs> All right, then. To the Ultralux. Wait, what are these? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Escaped wildlife can be very dangerous, Dino. <laughs> Party animals! Crocker can kiss my sweet republic Get out. ass! Get out! <laughs> the fountain is for wishes, ladies. <laughs> Who wants to swim? Water's fine. Please remove your bra from the bottom of the fountain <laughs> and gather your clothes and belongings. <laughs> ladies, please disperse. Come on, big man. <laughs> Roll right, ladies, up in show's here. Over. All right, girls, show's over. <laughs> Wanna uh -oh. dance? Pick a more. <laughs> it's the law, girls. <laughs> I love this. Are you going to spank us? I so love handcuffs. Ah, uh, is that a suggestion? Hello, Sparky. All right, enough fun for tonight. The fountain is a restricted area. <laughs> okay, ladies, see you later. We'll have fun. Boy, it sure would be a shame if they took my weapons. Looks like this time they actually got hostile when we pulled out our weapons. That's a, a bit inconsistent. I like this guy that's just like, I'm on a hot streak. I ain't getting up. <laughs> well, still on a hot streak. <laughs> I'm gonna double down. Wait, are you dead? Triple down. Hey there. Welcome to Blackjack, ladies. Uh, the, name is, the name of the game is Blackjack. Aim is to get 21 points. I'm putting it all on black. And we have one for putting it all on black. I don't know how to deal for blackjack. I don't know what I would say. Hey, any idea how somebody gets into the White Glove Society? Have to know somebody? As a dealer, I'm not allowed to tell you that. Oh, she just died. <laughs> she just had a heart attack in the lobby. <laughs> Bet it all on black! <laughs> oh. Salutations. This way to the mozzarella family dinner party. Wonder why the doorman's a bouncer? That's just how intense these dinner parties get. Okay. We have an invitation for four people, of course. The one has clearly been scratched into a four. All right, good to see. You may enter, but please be cautious. You'll be in the presence of the big cheese himself, Tony Mozzarella. Don't talk to him unless he talks to you. Don't even look in his direction unless you've been approved to do so. Which you probably won't be. Uh, we shall avert our gazes. Here's the key to get in. Don't ask why I can't just open it for you. This is company policy. <laughs> okay. Can you tell us anything about your past? Oh yes, I'm most interested in learning about others' past. Hmm... Nope. Company policy, or do you just not remember? It's cause I'm taking this new medication. Makes you forget your past. I don't remember why I'm taking it though. <laughs> uh, is there anything you remember at all? Actually, wait. I do remember one thing. Last year I went on a camping trip with my buds up in the mountains near Jacobstown. There was three of us. And me and my bud Dave thought it would be pretty funny to shove a rad menace's egg up Charlie's ass while he was sleeping. Ah, uh, classic prank, yes. It was funny. <laughs> uh, until we couldn't get it out. <laughs> and then we discovered that those eggs hatch really quickly when they're disturbed. Oh! Ever seen that movie Alien? Yeah. You know that part where the alien fucking bursts out that guy's chest? It's an excellent film. Well, that happened to Charlie. Only but in his butthole? With a mantis. Besides that, 
I think it was a pretty good trip. <laughs> I can't really recall, though. You have a very interesting past. Thank you for the story. All right. Enjoy the party. And no smoking. Uh, unless it's crack. <coughs> for some reason, the White Glove Society has no qualms of smoking crack. <laughs> okay. Don't smoke crack, kids. Ah, yes. Fine dining. A lot of bodyguards. Oddly shaped bodyguards. <gasps> It's Sony Mozzarella. Quickly, avert your eyes. The man himself? <gasps> oh, he sees me! <laughs> Greetings, I'm Tony Mozzarella, chief of the Mozzarella family. Are you sure you're the real Tony Mozzarella? What are you talking about? It's me in the flesh, the big cheese! What would make you think otherwise? Uh, how come you're not voiced? Shouldn't such an important character have voice acting? Well... I mean, Gorgonzola wasn't voiced, and he's a pretty important character. Voice doesn't really mean that much. Why don't you go do something else? Like, talk to someone who's not me. I'm kind of bad at Izzy standing here looking inconspicuous. Uh-oh. I suddenly suspect you're not the real Tony Mazzarella. Have a good time at the party. If we put this guy on ice, is that really going to eliminate the hype trade? Won't the second-in-command take charge instead? No, no, that's never how these things work. Except that everyone's going to go hostile as soon as we kill this guy. <sighs> or they'll make an audible disgust and keep on standing there. We'll put his body in the storage. Just hide it from anyone else. Stilton, what are you doing back here? Stilton? Hey, man. I've got to warn you. This was all a setup. That Tony Mozzarella is actually a body double. And they're fixing to ambush you. That's not good. Oh, we were supposed to go in here and get some weapons. So we did stuff out of order? <laughs> did Gorgonzola plan this or something? I don't know, man. Maybe he was in on it? Maybe the big cheese is using him too. All I know is that you're going to have to shoot your way out of this one now. Why did they wait until I was all the way in the closet if they planned on killing me? Because now you have to go through them to get back out. If they had tried to shoot you at the door, you had a chance to turn and run. But we wouldn't have, because we like a challenge. All right, well, how did you manage to sneak in here? Well, it wasn't tough. I actually knew the bouncer from back when the monsters pushed for hype the first time. He's a cool guy. Well, maybe we'll try not to kill that one. But for now, I'm going to wait until you kill everybody off and then leave before I, you know, make my exit. Sorry I can't help. I'm, I'm no good. I'm not a good shot, and I'm also stoned right now, so... <laughs> ah! You wouldn't want to be on your side. After I shoot my way out of here, with kind words and gestures, what do you do then? You should try and get back to DJ. I sent Little Beats to give him the news that he might be in danger too. From there, just do what he says. Okay, let's go! Is there a way to sneak past them? Is there a route we could use? I mean, I could give you my stealth boy. Though with how much the sneak system sucks in this game, it probably won't get you far. Probably not. <laughs> Thank you for the stealth boy. We'll give it a try. Alright, buddy. Good luck. Sorry I can't do much to help you out. But I'm cheering you on. He'll be with us in spirit. Okay, Stilton. Have a good one. What a grasp they saw you. us immediately. Oh, oh, we should have brought more stealth boys. Oh, God. Oh, God, help me. Sorry, Mike, I'm a pacifist! No, it's okay, you're all just here now. Come on! Oh god, no! <laughs> no, it's face for the wall! We probably should leave. That's a good idea, let's leave. As fast as we can, before they can catch up to us.